everyone, my name is Mark Mullikins from Big Mount Studio, and we're going to talk about the stretching property on the UI view. Now, if any of you are like me, you've probably seen this property down here before, and you're wondering, what the heck do I use this for? Well, I'm going to show you. I'll give you a general idea on how it's used, and I'm not going to go into too much detail because this property has actually been deprecated. Uh, you don't use this anymore, and I'll show you the new way. Okay, here I have the uh, media library selected, and I have this button. And I imagine that this stretching property was used when developers got resources from designers. And what they had to do is they had to resize this image, or resize images like this. Here, let's change this to scale to fit. And they didn't want the corners to get distorted. Notice when I make this bigger, the corners get really distorted. It's not the nice round looking image as it was when I first dragged it on there. So what stretching does is you can use it to define what areas of the image should be stretched uh, when you when you make the image bigger. And basically what you want to do is this property would preserve the corners. Uh, and I believe what happens is you put in numbers like a 0 .5, 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 and then you change the width and height to 0 like that and I think the 0 0.5 means like a fraction it's like a, a percentage or a fraction of the image that it preserves on the the vertical parts the corners of the image and the horizontal parts so now like like notice when I when I move this around and I stretch it only the middle parts are getting stretched and not the corners the corners are being preserved okay so that's the old way to do it so how do you do it the new way all right let me show you let's start over and put our image on there again and I'm going to change the mode to scale to fit so it deforms when I stretch it out okay there we go and now what you want to do is you want to go into your assets and I already have this button in here as, a, as an asset and down in the corner here you see this thing called slicing slicing is the same concept it's where you slice up the image and only parts of the image get stretched out Maybe you've heard the term nine slicing or something like that. So let's start slicing. And for this, we want to preserve both corners. Uh, we want to slice horizontally and vertically. Okay, now here, you notice there's parts on here that, that we, can, we can move around. And this is the part that's going to get stretched. So maybe if you want to preserve this part, basically the part that looks clear is what will be preserved. And the part that has this faded white color is the part that will be stretched. And this might be fine, you know, maybe you have an image where you have to preserve uh, parts of the, the right side of the image, so you can do that. Uh, what I would recommend is just stretching only the part that looks good when it's stretched. So I think we're, we're okay if we stretch, you know, uh, any part of this, because it looks pretty much the same no matter what part we stretch. So I could even just do something like that, make it minimal. And as far as like vertically, I could do the same thing. Just minimize the part that's going to be stretched. And I'll just say it's just this middle part right here. So now pretty much everything will be preserved except, and this will be repeated or stretched out, the, the whitish parts in the middle. So let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that looks a lot better. See now the corners are looking better. And, and when it's stretched, at least when it's stretched horizontally, it looks fine. You know, this white part is repeated. The the glassy part on the bottom is repeated. But notice when I stretch it vertically, the one part that I chose to have repeated is this whitish part. Maybe I want to get more of a darkish blue to repeat, like this part down here. So let's go back to our assets and let's change that repeating part. Oops, down here a little bit. Actually, let's take a look at this image. Uh, what part would look better repeated? Maybe try to get this darkish part right here yeah that looks a lot better see it's darker now so basically slicing is the new way to do it stretching is the old way to do it so don't use stretching anymore it's probably still on there for backwards compatibility people that have older projects where they use stretching and so Apple left it on there to support older projects for now you want to go with slicing and 
you can use slicing to preserve corners of your objects or sides of your objects if you want to do it just vertically or just horizontally. And then when you're done, you can just click on show overview again and it'll go back to the image. All right, so that's pretty much all I have for stretching. And that's pretty much all it is, really. It's pretty simple. And just as a, as a tip, don't use it anymore. <laughs> okay, I hope you learned what stretching was and what slicing is. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. We have one more property we're going to cover, and that is installed. And that will be in the next video. Thanks.